Hello, this is Brando EBSA Assistant Head Coach and World Snooker Coach. We're going to talk about the walk-in, very important element of your game. It is connected to your aiming. If you have good walk-in, that means you can put the cue down on the line of the shot, bang on the line of the shot. In our previous videos, uh, I, was, I was talking about the standing position before the shot, which is very important. But then, if you're standing correctly behind the shot, you have to walk into the shot. So there are basically two types of walking, the modern way and the old-fashioned way. Those are different walk-ins. Those walk-ins can give you different results. So you have to choose which one to use and stick with it, perfect it, and just keep it consistent no matter what happens on the table. The idea of good walking is to get the cue on the line. With the walking, you have to do at least two steps with your leading leg and with your non-leading leg. First, we start with your leading leg. If you're right-handed, that's the right leg. Not only the steps are important, which forms your stance, which give you the base of the shot, as well as the steps, you have to keep your eyes on the line of the shot as much straighter as you can. There are basically two types of walking. The first type I'm going to show you is the modern walking. The, the walking which most of the top professionals are using now. So I'm standing perfectly straight behind the line now. My shoulders and hips are square to the line. And now the first move of my walking is the cue both hands and the left shoulder. That's the first move. So I start with the cue, then the right leg, then the left leg, and then you go down on the shot. I'll show it the natural way. So I start with the cue, and now the cue is bang on the line. The other way is probably more the old-fashioned way. The other way is to keep your shoulders square to the line to the very last moment. So now I keep my shoulders square, right foot, left foot, then you turn the shoulders and get the cue down. I'll show it faster. So I keep my shoulders straight, square to the line. This is more the John Higgins way, Stephen Hendry way of getting down on the line. The idea of this walk-in is to keep your eyes straight on the line from up to down, which will help you to get the cue on the line and, of course, to put the ball. Most of professionals now, like Ronnie, um, Jack Lisowski, Neil Robertson, they start with the cue. And then they move their legs. The idea of, of this is to help to get the cue on the line and to keep your eyes on the line from up to down. Remember that aiming is the first reason of your misses, especially if you're a beginner. If you're before 50 mark, look at your aiming and see if the cue is on the line. You can use the middle pocket. So if you place the balls perfectly straight, on the middles, then your cue should be between the, should be in the middle of the middle pocket. So I just adjust the balls a little bit so they're in the middle of the middle. And now if I walk in, and if my cue is in the middle of the pocket, then my walk in is good. And now I know my aiming is correct. Thank you for watching. See you in our next videos where we're going to expand the topic of walking and we are going to add details which are also important to help you walking good and pot more balls. Smash the subscribe button and see you next time.